All right, folks, this is Lyman again for part six of Monarch Student 35, Mehmed the second. And we are, I'm not setting any records on getting any, any rush out here, but you know, it's 375 BC. I've got six cities with a seventh on the way. Um, we're, research rate is not too bad at all. And the AIs, at least the known AIs, are not really tech juggernauts at the moment. Um, Gandhi is probably, I would imagine he's heading probably toward maybe some wonders and uh, Booty is not sure where she's heading. I'm surprised she doesn't have mathematics yet, but she is got, uh, she doesn't appear to be too happy with me, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see some sort of uh, wee horn mode soon. I don't have a religion. I have all of Gandhi's religions, so it would be nice to be in a religion by now, uh, especially given that uh, every city has it. Something like uh, being an or organized religion would be nice, even though I don't have it. I haven't teched any, any religious text at all at the moment. Not really my concern, but what I think I want to do is fill out uh, at least some of the good parts of my land and then actually I'm going to move this axe down here. I just want to see if there's anything worthwhile down there and I will chop the settler out and then maybe possibly doing a, a, an elephant catapult war with the AIs behind enough it could still it could still work fine Um, if not, we can get up a, a pretty decent sized empire down here and, and maybe move to later warfare. I, I think I definitely want to fight this game. No question about that. Get in that city. Probably going to end up farming that all this city later. Yeah, Kelty is going for monarchy. Since I'm probably going to hit Gandhi first, I don't really care that she gets to feudalism as long as Gandhi doesn't. into a settler. I want to get up a couple of setter, settlers pretty quick. When this city grows to its next pop point, I should be able to whip that Haman, which I like to do with cities that are low production, at least early. Hmm. might not be a, a bad trade. Let's see. Uh, she's probably going to get it pretty soon. It wouldn't be bad to at least know where the iron is on the map. I think I'll go ahead and take that trade. And I really don't want him getting math too soon, but he's probably taking it right now. Yeah, but I might incur the wrath of, of the Celts by doing that. So I think I'm going to make him, I'm, I think I'm going to make him have to tech for it.
chop that forest before Gandhi gets it. So Gandhi's got some iron and well I have some iron over here. Not bad. I've got a lot of a lot of metals down my way, copper and iron. I don't think I've seen so much copper so close together. And then I'll get the growth there and finish that. Just cottage this area. What I'm doing with Istanbul is I'm letting it grow I'm letting it grow fairly close to its uh, limit and then I'm going to whip the settler at a good point there. Getting monarchy from from Boudicca would not be a bad bad hole. Okay, yeah. Just whip away that unhappiness and then I'll gain back a couple of happiness and really be able to grow the city without really losing too much of what it was already working in. Yeah, I was paying for those citizens, but they paid off in hammers later and getting a really important building. So I'm pretty fine with that. Let's uh, get a road here. Okay, we do have clams. So I probably want to settle, probably actually want to settle where that guy is right now. Move him over here to reveal a little bit more. Um, you what I'll put a chop into the settler and then he'll be able to what then I'll make for a good whip next turn hmm I might actually whip here soon 